Hi guys. So taking forward our lecture on using the ADC, in today's lab we will interface a potentiometer as you see on the board here. We will be interfacing this potentiometer and displaying the analog value which is converted into digital on the LCD. Now the LCD connections are the same as in the previous lab. What I have done here is, in my potentiometer, I have taken the variable terminal and connected it here to P04 and one terminal has been connected to ground and the other terminal has been connected to VDD. If you remember in the LCD lab, this common terminal was ground and this common terminal was VDD. So now let's go ahead and look at the PSOC Creator project. Go ahead and drag and drop the ADC from the analog section. Now to configure, you need to make sure that first the number of channels is one since we are using only one channel. Then the mode is single. The resolution that we are using is alternate and in the alternate resolution please make sure this is 8 bits. Now the reference voltage we have to make sure that it is VDD because here on the board this potentiometer will vary from ground to VDD so the input range of the ADC on the chip here on the software we have to make sure that the input range here is 0 to 3.3 volts which is VREF so we have to make sure VREF is VDD okay so go ahead and name this as plain and simple ADC now since we need to display let's get the character LCD component let's give it the simple name LCD and now we have to declare the ports and pins so let's get an analog pin for the input let's go ahead and configure that and call it port rest all is the same and now let's go ahead and configure the CYDWR this, as we remember from the previous lab, is P2 6 down to 0 and my potentiometer is P04. So we have just completed the configuration and connecting the design pins to the external pins of your PSOC. So let's go ahead and take a look at the program. Now first we have to include the header file stdio.h because we will be performing a few print functions let's go ahead and define two variables float x and y so we define an array of characters in the variable b so this is now a string which we initialize to null so this means null characters so we first do the ADC start API. Now all these APIs can be looked at in the data sheet. So you can take a look at all these APIs here and the description of the APIs are mentioned here. So let's look at the first API which is ADC underscore start which is fairly straightforward then LCD start we remember from the previous lab LCD underscore clear display so we're just clearing the display and here we need to enable the global interrupts because my ADC here when it gets the value from the analog input and when it is ready to give the digital value it will interrupt my microcontroller so for that we have to enable the global interrupts so 
first we ask the ADC to start its conversion so we use the API ADC underscore start convert so the actual API is underscore start convert ADC is the name that we have given this here so this is the name that we've given this then we use a function where we are asking the ADC if it is ready the description of this API is given here that it returns the status of conversion so if I say ADC wait for result it does not enter a result until the ADC conversion is complete so here effectively what I'm doing is I'm waiting to get a value and once the ADC is done then I'm using the get result 16 API now the get result 16 API is basically it gets the data available on that channel please understand this depending on which channel I'm reading the input so in this particular scenario I have only one channel which is channel 0 so here I get the value using the get result 16 API into the value X from channel 0 now we have another API which says counts to millivolts what it does is that it converts the ADC output to millivolts directly so since we want to display the output of the potentiometer here which is from 0 to 3.3 volts which is 0 to 3300 millivolts so we will use the ADC counts to millivolts function and then I set my position to location 00, zero. I print the screen voltage then I set the position to the first row the zeroth column and then I use the API LCD underscore print number where I can directly print the number now this we can see in the character LCD display you have LCD print number so you can take a look at those API's and then I print the string millivolts just so that I can have the value followed by millivolts and then there's a hundred millisecond delay and then I'm clearing the display so this will keep happening in the infinite loop so effectively what we are doing is we are waiting for the value we read the value we convert it to millivolts then I set my position on the LCD I print the word voltage then we print the number on the LCD directly using the print number API and we do the print string so that we can have millivolts after that so it's a fairly straightforward application let's go ahead and clean and build this project so after the build is succeeded let's go ahead and program the board and let's look at the output here so here we can see the phrase voltage printed and the volt in number now let me go ahead and vary the potentiometer now as you see as I'm 
turning the potentiometer knob the voltage is changing and as I increase it in the other direction it's going up to 3.3 volts almost we need to understand that potentiometer is not perfect so there will be some error and if you see it goes up to 0 millivolt and on the other hand it's 3.3 .3. so let's try and make a few changes here now instead of displaying this in millivolts let's try and display this in volts so if you remember the API that we will try and use is ADC counts to volts so let's go ahead and change this from millivolts to volts and then change this here just for the sake of consistency to volts let's go ahead and also say ADC out no let's say watt volt let's go ahead and program the board and let's see the output so now if you see here it's directly displaying it in volts and as I'm reducing my potentiometer it changes its value so now you see that depending on how I would like to use my ADC I can program this board you can change the sampling rate here I would just like to mention that again and always make sure that you can have the mode figured out the resolution figured out and the input range figured out so as part of today's lab we checked how to use the analog interface with the potentiometer and the LCD I hope that this lab was clear I'll see you in the next lab session thank you